Robert J. Rosenthal established his reputation during the last 40 years as a war correspondent and scandal whistleblower for newspapers like the New York Times. Now he directs the Center for Investigative Reporting in Berkeley, which is financed by donations. The center reveals political grievances and develops innovative working models for journalism. You know, it was sort of, uh, I was in the first wave of big newspaper editors in the United States when the downsizing began to probably get fired. I was among the first group. Uh, and after that, I decided I had one more newspaper left in me. I believed in journalism tremendously, and I came to San Francisco, where I became the managing editor of the San Francisco Chronicle, but that didn't work out. I think what I really felt was that newspapers, because of the economics, were in a tremendous decline, as we all know. Many forces affected that. And newspapers were not a place where really you could innovate anymore, especially for-profit news organizations, publicly traded. So I left the San Francisco Chronicle at the, in the spring of 2007, around two years ago, and came to CIR with the goal of growing it uh, and, and also trying to create a new model for journalism, uh, especially investigative reporting. <laughs> Now we actually uh, have raised enough money in the last year and a half year in a very difficult environment, mostly foundation money, American foundations, where we've now fin just finished hiring in the last few weeks uh, 10 people, 10 journalists, for, for a very focused investigative reporting project focused on California. And for those 10 jobs, we had uh, close to 700 applications, which is fantastic for us, but a very sad commentary on what's happened to American journalism over the last two to three years, uh, five years, really. So we're very excited about what we're doing here. Uh, it's going to be quite innovative. Uh, we're really thinking of new ways to tell stories, and the whole arena in this country right now of nonprofit reporting, nonprofit investigative reporting is very vibrant with a lot of innovation and a lot of people really trying to get involved in it. So our model uh, is based on collaboration with, with big or other media. We, we are not, we have a website, but we are not a publishing com company. Our goal is to have impact and make as many people available to see our work, view our work, listen to our work as possible. So for example, we might work with National Public Radio. We did that during the 2008 presidential campaign. We also <coughs> work with the Los Angeles Times, a big, the major newspaper in California and one of the major newspapers in this country. But the really innovative advance in front of us is the concept of doing a story, whereas traditionally you might do it only for a newspaper, but take that same story and break it out into multimedia pieces where you're taking that same information and there may be video for handhelds. I think that there, one CIR or one ProPublica in New York who's very similar but uh, well, very well funded uh, will make a difference, but we need more of these organizations and they're beginning to take shape. Uh, and that's why I was saying there's a very rich, you know, the American now the term is ecosystem for all these organizations cr happening. But the other piece of that that makes it very possible is that the news organizations from a small news organization in a community to the biggest news organizations in, in the country are contacting us and, and opening up their doors to collaboration in our content. They all have been downsized, they need content, and the specialty of investigative reporting is much needed right now. So I'm very optimistic that the drop on the hot a frying pan, or in, in English we might say a spit in the ocean, uh, or is going to be part of a, a building up of a lot of content. Now, this is very interesting at a time when the definition of a journalist has shifted. Is a blogger a journalist? Is Twitter a marketing piece of technology or is it a way to tell stories? How do you use social networking? So from my point of view and what we're trying to do at CIR is really take advantage of all this technology. 
Uh, it's not simply we're writing for a print product. How do you take the technology and reach audiences the way they want to be reached? And obviously this is also a global issue. It's not simply something we're thinking about. I think this is, people are thinking about this in Germany. They're thinking about it all over the world. Uh, so there's a lot of optimism that there will be a solution. I don't know. I mean, I could say whatever I thought, but I have no idea. I think we're seeing, and I can see it personally with what's happening here, a rebirth, a renewal, a tremendous sense of energy and opportunity around it. And it's not just from nonprofits. I get phone calls from venture capitalists, people who, want, who believe that information and content is valuable. And no one has figured out the new business model. But they, there are people whose core goal is profit who are very interested in this as well. And, and they're all reaching out. There's a tremendous amount of experimentation and reaching out. I think that there are, there's, in this day and age and today, the role of journalists, I think, you know, is more crucial. There's, there's inform anybody, and we're seeing it, there's information everywhere. And there's an information overload. But I think the core, a key role of a journalist, whether it's an investigative reporter or a journalist, is to take information and make it accessible, make it coherent, so that people can understand what's happening. It's, we're, we're organizers, we're filters. We frequently go to places other people don't go. They inform us about the world. It's true that the new technologies have, have made somebody with a handheld, you know, can take video and ship it from Afghanistan to here. But there are certain things we do that other people don't do. We take risks. And again, historically, a journalist frequently would speak out or find information that those in power did not want disclosed. I'm about to sit down. The thing that's really, that we want to really create and instill in our culture and what we're doing is a really, not only the collaboration internally but externally, but really be a place where ideas are honored and everybody should feel very comfortable really thinking about innovative ways to not only do the journalism and the reporting, but how to tell the story. So again, this is really not just, it's not like working, I've had these talks with new staff at the Philadelphia Inquiry and the San Francisco Chronicle. This is completely different, it's about what we can do. So I think that's really, really exciting. And many of you have come from legacy newsrooms or understand what's happening there. But the energy here and the whole feeling is so different because uh, we're about building something. So uh, more people will be coming in the next couple of weeks. We're going to get more crowded. Uh, then we'll get a little more room. But again, I think, you know, I really, the key thing, if you heard anything I said today, it's I really, really believe in all of you. We believe in each other and we're really going to, you know, one of the things in the new space, I think the ceilings are 17 or 20 feet. What are they? 17. I started here personally because I wanted to work from something from the ground, work with something from the ground up. I like the idea of journalism that's really taking these multimedia tools and taking the internet and using it as a forum for creating better journalism. And so I had some other opportunities that I could address, but this is something that's really going to change lives. It's going to uh, impact the lives of Californians who need this sort of news, who aren't getting this sort of news anywhere else. The duties of being a journalism is kind of being the person who stirs the pot, the person who makes people mad. And when you make people mad, it means that you're doing a good job. It means that you're changing something. That, <laughs> um, and so you kind of sign up for that. You know, there's a threat of people getting sued and people going to jail for being uh, journalists. But, you know, that's something we take on and that's something that we gravitate towards the business board toward because we know we're doing something that's going to change people's lives. I am in, I'm an invested party. I'm a, we're all as invested as everybody. There's no like hierarchy. There's everybody just going for it. And we're all a part of this public. <laughs>